like a bell that keeps ringing for me. And from the way that I feel, when that bell starts to peal, I would swear I was falling. I could swear. Like Being in Love by Gene Kelly from Brigadoon. Now that's all for Act One, but do join me after the two o'clock news for more fabulous show tunes and to whet your appetite, it's something from Moana. This is Radio 2 on BBC Sounds and on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio 2. BBC Two at BBC News at two o'clock. This is Claire Ronacres. There have been calls for an inquiry into claims the Home Secretary asked civil servants to help her arrange a one-to-one driving awareness course rather than a group session after she was caught speeding last summer. Labour says Suella Braverman broke the ministerial code. The Prime Minister, who's meeting G7 leaders in Japan, has resisted calls for an investigation. The Shadow Health Secretary, Wes Streeting, told the Laura Kunzberg programme that Rishi Sunak's response had been poor. I thought his performance at that G7 press conference was astonishing. I mean, he read out a statement as if he was a a hostage reading out a note written for him by his captors. You know, she's accepted the points and she's treating me well. I mean, what is going on in this government? He he should never have appointed her in the first Mm -hmm. place. He's been too weak to sack her for incompetence. Mm -hmm. And now he's so weak, he won't even call an inquiry. Ukraine's President Zelensky has strongly denied that the eastern city of Bakhmut has fallen into Russian hands. Earlier, he'd said his country only held the city in their hearts. The leader of the Wagner mercenary group, which is doing most of Russia's fighting there, has claimed to have taken the city. Speaking in Hiroshima, President Zelensky told a news conference that Ukraine still had forces in Bakhmut. His words are spoken by an interpreter. Now our people are accomplishing a very important mission. They are now in Bakhmut. I will not share where exactly, but it witnesses that Bakhmut is not occupied by Russian Federation as of today. There are no two or three interpretations of those words. Police Scotland is investigating an allegation of sexual assault made against a former SNP council leader, Jordan Linden. Mr Linden, whose resignation led to the collapse of the party's administration in North Lanarkshire, also left the party earlier this year. Mr Linden says he doesn't accept the allegations. Officers in Germany are looking into claims that two Russian exiles were poisoned after attending a conference in Berlin in April. Natalio Arno, who heads the anti-Putin organisation Free Russia Foundation, and an unnamed journalist, both complained of mysterious symptoms. Here's our Europe regional editor, Paul Moss. She felt a sharp pain, numbness, and then other strange symptoms. That was how Natalia Arnaud described what happened after she left a meeting in Berlin attended by critics of the regime in Moscow. She's well known as a campaigner for democracy in Russia, work which has forced her to live in exile in the US. Another unnamed journalist sought treatment at a local hospital in Berlin, and German police say they've now opened a file on the case. A number of Kremlin critics have been poisoned in recent years, some Italy. Russia has always denied any involvement. A grandmother from Bath who went missing on holiday on a Greek island three weeks ago has been found dead in a remote area. Susan Hart, who was 74, was in Talendos with her husband when she disappeared in April. And Manchester City will lift the Premier League trophy this afternoon. Arsenal's 1-0 defeat at Nottingham Forest last night sealed the Blues' third successive title. BBC News, it's three minutes past two. Now let's get the travel with Orna Merchant. Claire, thank you very much. Well, first of all to Glasgow. So the M8 and both directions looking slow. It's through the Woodside Viaduct Works there between Junction 15 and Junction 18 as well. So near Town Head. And then Stockton on Tees, the A19, heading south, queuing traffic near the Port Track Interchange at Haberton Hill Road through to the A66 at Middlesbrough. It's a broken down motorcycle in one lane. And the M56, so that weekend work continues. So both directions closed between 12 at Runcorn and 11 at Preston Brook. But the problem are the surround or is the surrounding routes really because they're all looking busy it's Darsbury Expressway the A558 to the Western Point Expressway which is the A557 both looking slow on the southbound sides Man-